Chicago Fire head coach Frank Klobos on the club's 2-1 win over the Columbus Crew. The Fire will play for first place in the Eastern Conference on NBC Sports Network at Livestrong Park uh, against Sporting Kansas City. Frank, if you could start with uh, your thoughts on the match. Uh, yeah, obviously another great uh, win for, for our team. Uh, being here at home, uh, have a fantastic atmosphere tonight from our fans. And I thought we had a very good start to the game, you know, and then uh, we made a mistake, we gave up the goal, but, you know, I gave so much credit to, to the team. You know, we never, never panicked. Uh, we kept playing the same way. Uh, and then, uh, obviously, we scored uh, two very nice goals. We had some opportunities the second half uh, to put the game away. And then I think in the end, it was a little bit difficult because as a tendency, you're up, you drop. We dropped a little bit off, and, you know, and then they played... Uh, uh, Everything in the box, a lot of long balls, and you know, which is their strength with, with the size that they have. But uh, in the end, uh, it was a great win. A lot of credit to to the guys. Seth, is your confidence in the team increasing offensively as you see game after game and just being able to finish? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, we we create opportunities and matches with the players that we have. I think there are times where we got have a more of a Killer instinct, our mentality when we get in certain spots. I think we, you know this is something we work in the final third in training. We got to keep doing it. Uh, so obviously, uh, it's something that we work on and we got to keep working. But yeah, I have confidence in the, in the group. I've always had confidence in the group that you know we keep things tight. I was, I feel that uh, as a team we, we will get chances. You know, and uh, we've been putting chances. Chris called some, uh, Chris scored uh, some great goals, I mean, world class goals. Uh, the second one, I mean, was just amazing. Turning and, and putting the ball up for 90 it was real class. We had some other good opportunities, but now we're just from a defensive standpoint. You know, obviously we we got to get we got to get better uh, as a unit. I think the the, the attitude of the guys, uh, the work rate has been uh, very good. It made it difficult for them. You know, I really didn't think they they had much, but I think as games now <laughs> get fewer and fewer, I think you know we need to. Keep getting better defending, knowing that uh, we're going to, you know, create opportunities. And I thought that the game today was a transition. That was the key for us, you know, just being good in transition in both phases. That's Warren. Sorry, Frank. Did you say anything to Sean about the Columbus goal? You know what? The thing is, you you can see the reaction from the guys. You know, it's, you know, uh, in games you're going to make mistakes, and now it's like the next the next play. How do you react from it? And I thought he was positive. He made some, you know, big save in the end. And maybe a couple of big saves, and I thought he responded well. You can't, uh, you know, life. I mean, in, in a game you're gonna make mistakes. I think the important thing is that how you react uh, to them, and uh, and you learn from them. You know, so I think as a group we were, we felt uh, uh, there was a lot of game left to be played. And uh, look, I mean, uh, everyone's gonna make mistakes, and I think that the team was very. I was too. We just gotta move on. You know, knowing that there's a lot of a lot of uh, game left to be played. So, uh, and I thought that Sean responded very well and made some key saves in the end. Go ahead, Mike. How about Cardo? Is he in uh, We'll see. Yeah, he's yeah. cap. You know, it's been bothering him. We tried to push him yesterday, and he came, uh, he came off, didn't feel good. So, uh, we got to see day to day. Go ahead, Jeff. Frank, you guys are inching closer to supporting Kansas City. Obviously, big game next week. This is four wins in a row for the club now. Uh, does that add more pressure to the guys coming into Livestrong next weekend? I mean, we know it's a big game. All these games are. You know, we're excited that there's so much on the line within every game. You know, I think that's the exciting part. And then, you know, I think that uh, you didn't have this uh, in the past. You know, and I think the players are excited. You know, for sure. You know, the pressure is uh, it's how you deal with it. And I think we've dealt well. Uh, we prepared well, and I think that's what gives the players confidence on the field, which is very important. And look, we're playing the first place team. They're a very good team, so it's a, it'd be a good challenge for us. And it's not going to get easier. So, uh, you know, we're a much improved team. Uh, they are also, so it'd be a good challenge for us in a difficult place against a very good team, but a game that uh, we look uh, very much forward to. Let's take one last one. James? From an emotional standpoint, what's the feeling beating a team like the crew, a team that the, goes back to the five? Yeah, I mean, I, it's, a, it's a rivalry, you know? I mean, and, I mean, Look, I mean, it was important for us to to not drop points at home. So it's a team that's, you know, just like us, are fighting to make the playoffs. These games are very important. We're playing at home, and it was important that uh, uh, not to drop points. Uh, 
uh, you know, to, 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 to get the win. You know, um, so, you know, matches like this, uh, I mean, the rivalry has been there. So, you know, I mean, uh, the exciting part is that we were home and there's a lot on the line and with every game. And I think that's the players thrive on that. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it.